Okay, I am with the girls and we are about to go. Cindy is insisting that we go see this dog. That we go see a dog and that's what we're gonna do. So the only thing I did to my face because somebody was like, I was ugly. Basically, that's what you were trying to say, that I was ugly because I did my last video and I had face on. I put on little eyelashes, a little eyeliner, okay? So just doing a tiny bit, I guess there's a big difference with night and day, okay? I didn't feel like putting on a face. That I didn't feel like it, so I did. So that's how I felt doing that video, and that's what I did. So sorry, I wasn't looking cute to your standards. People always got something to say. <laughs> Trying to say how somebody else look. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Rude. I didn't feel like wearing makeup. I was into my video the way I was into it. That I, That's how I was feeling at the time. Sorry, I'm not always glamorous. And glamorous for me is pop, plopping on some eyelashes and eyeliner. That's what I did. Bobby even put on her little eyelashes. She looks different uh, without her eyelashes too. I mean, it's called makeup. Anyway. Say hi, Sydney. Hi. See, it's cold, Cindy. You got the air on. I just turned the heat on. Oh, Bobby said it's cold too. Yeah. So where are we going, Cindy? To let a dog out to go to the bathroom. What are you doing? Uh, I've been babysitting some little kids, and their parents are out of town, and just been hanging out. I didn't really do much because I was watching the kids, but. I'm um, dog sitting for them, so stay over there a few nights. Okay. Bobby! Hello! I'm, oh, I'm back! So what are you about to do today? Um, I, I am going back to see my high school play basketball. I'm still pretty close with my high school coach, so I like to go back and see them play at least once a year. And it always works in my, works out in my schedule during uh, Christmas um, winter break to where I can see, <laughs> to where I can see them play at least one time a year. So I'm always super excited about that. So I'm going today to see that. Unfortunately, it's an away game. It's a rival game, so it'll be a good one. But I don't know how much I'll be able to see them after. I'm sure she'll stay behind and talk to me for a little bit. Super excited about that. Um, I came and I made it in um, early evening last night. It was a rough drive. I Whoa, made it. That's cool. Whoa. Oh, He's I riding like, like in like almost like an elliptical on the street. I'm excited to be back for about a week. I go back next week on the 26th because we have to report back to the 27th. So I'm just going to go back a day early. So I'm not rushing in on the 27th. Excited to be back. We're about to go see this dog Cindy has been raving about for days now. I get a phone call at least once a day from her with this dog. <laughs> I'm excited to see the little puppy. And Cindy's also gonna take me to Dutch Bros. Oh, what? Yep. <laughs> so how oh, do sure. you feel? I mean, like people are going crazy about me doing a car, experimenting, experiencing the car life. Mm -hmm. You freaking out about it? I mean, I'll start freaking out when you freak out, Mom. I think it's a fun little journey, and I think it's just like long-term camping for a little bit, you know? I don't think you should judge someone based on what they're doing. It's just, I don't know. It'd be like if someone wanted to wear pink hair for months at a time. And that's their decision, and it's not like it's affecting you personally. So, by the other person doing it. So, I respect your decision, and once you start freaking out about it, then I'll start freaking out about it. And you seem comfortable, so that's all that matters. <laughs> she said she'd be cozy in there. <laughs> Sometimes, sorry, Cindy, I'm really trying to eat this. Sometimes I don't even want to leave. <laughs> so, anyway. I'm trying to let my eyebrows grow out, guys. So I'm at that 
in between stage. Bobby has Bobby and Cindy have nice, beautiful, thick eyebrows. Mm -hmm. um, Bobby has to put gel on her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are thick, and I will say the dad, um, the dad has thick eyebrows, so they get that from their dad. Even if you don't think you're like your parents, you pick up certain things from your parents. My mom used to wear black eyeliner. And I used to, but she used to wear the one where you would. I don't know. This is what they did back in the day. She had a black palette and she would use a little spit. I don't know. That's what she did. Okay. It sounds kind of gross. She would um, put it and then she would do her eyeliner. And she wore eyelashes. And my mom um, had an opportunity to work for Budweiser as a model when she was younger. But her mother told her no. Now, I grew up wearing eyelashes and eyeliner, but that didn't start till late in my life. And now, Bobby wears eyelashes, and I guarantee you when she gets older, the eyeliner is going to come into play at some point. <laughs> it will. <laughs> it's going to come. Now, Sydney, I don't, you know, Sydney. Sorry, that was probably dumb of me. I, I don't waited. know what Sydney, Sydney. Uh, I just don't wear makeup. I don't really care. I thought you did. If I, like, am going to something, like, nicer, I'll wear makeup, but I just feel like concealer. Sydney, it's, 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 it's through that phase now where she's good with, I guess that'll be a college thing, too. You in a sweatshirt. Why am I going to sweatshirt dress up to go to class? Like, I'm right. just not training but I would, I did. So, when I was in college, it's just who, who I am. My mom dressed up, and I got it from my mother, I guess, because she always dressed up. She wouldn't go out in some sweatpants in a, in a, in a, in a sweatshirt ever. I, I don't think I ever seen my mother in sweatpants. She she just dressed up. That was just her thing. And so even when I was in college, and I was like the weird student in college, as I was straight off the Brooklyn, Brooklyn uh, train <laughs> all the way in Texas, and I stood out like a sore thumb. And I, I dressed up every day. I dressed up. I dressed the way I, I felt. And you would never catch me on campus with a hoodie and some sweatpants. Never. Ever. 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 And so I always stood out like a sore thumb. I always had something cute on. So I guess you could say that Sydney, though. You said you dressed how you felt. Yeah. That's how Sydney I don't think there's anything wrong no, with that. No, not at all. But I am also lean more on the side of I dress up to go to class. Here, where we're going, you gotta go through security and stuff. You gotta go through security to get in, cause this is, you know, where's this Calton Woods? Mm -hmm. Thank Woods. you. Bye, Mister. Mm -hmm. Bye, Mister. A security man. But I know when Bobby had her job this summer, homegirl was uh, dressed to the hilt. She went, th and whose closet did she go through? Okay, maybe not closet storage. <laughs> so, guys, can you help me with storage? Sydney don't say nothing. I just am not sure I'll be pleasant to be around. I, you, you know, I right just haven't been gifted with patience when it comes to that stuff. Like, if my friends asked me to organize, I would not go. So, in other words, what she's saying, <laughs> Sydney, I won't rely on her to take care of me when I'm old. Uh, she will have no patience for me. No. She'll have me sitting in, in a poopy diaper. That's not true. I'm not going to organize. I don't, well, I will, but it's I not would about, It's not like, what is the stuff? Do I need it? Can I get rid of it? It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I'm really sorry. I will gladly. But that's the way that Bobby has just been gifted from God. I would, did not get that gift of that type of stuff, personally. I, like, you should see my desk at school. I was considered the messy roommate. And my closet, oh, okay. Bobby. Oh, no. Did I you see my desk? My I desk. showed you my desk. Yeah, I my want desk to cry. Looks like that. But I know I have to clean it up after a while because I can't function. It was it was too much, and I don't think I was on my medicine at that time. I don't know, but I I can't I couldn't function anymore. It was overwhelming. So anyway, we're gonna go see this little dog that Cindy keeps um She's raving about. So cute. I can't wait to see. It. <laughs> I, freak out. I love William. Is it a Yorkie? No, she's a mini Bernadoo. A mini who? Bernadoo. Oh my god. Bernadoo. Yeah, you are. I'm also very excited. Look, look at this. I love the little. What? I love the little. Look at this house. This is gorgeous. Oh, look at this house. This is gorgeous. We don't got to show that house. Look at these. Look at this house. Yes, it is. Look at this house. 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 Is this a 
how sweet with the turtle? When you told me I had to put the turtle in, in the thing. No. Yeah, you couldn't no. do it. They don't have a turtle. No, that's a different house. I know it. You're I got little legs. I have little legs. So, I'm going with Bobby to a basketball game with her. I thought friend, her friend could go. So, I was like, I'll go with you, babe. <laughs> so, this is um, her high school. Her well, old high school is playing the Woodlands High School. Yes, there's nothing. So we're going to see her old coach and she stays in touch with that coach. And I've been to a few games here when she was playing high school basketball. So. Well, Bobby and I made it back from running around little errands. We went to the Asian market, went to the eyeglass store. We made appointments to get our eyes checked. You know, you get that every year. And we got coffee because some of my students gave me Starbucks gift cards. <clears throat> so I got a, a lemonade and she got her favorite coffee. It was too much coffee in for me. So I was like, I just want some water. So I got one of their frozen lemonade drink thingies. So it was just okay. So when we were driving back to the house where we're staying, let's see if I can put the, oh, excuse me, refrigerator. Um, let's see how we turn some of these lights on. This is all Sydney stuff. That's all Sydney. That's all Sydney, right? Yeah. And so I bought water. I bought stuff for the fridge, toilet paper. And so she said we could like the Christian tree, but Bobby's about to head out. So we, well, let me, let me back up. So when I was leaving school at first, what school? I, huh? When we were leaving a basketball game? No, 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 no. Like when I was leaving school back in Arkadelphia. Oh. I have, I was putting all this stuff in my car and I have a basketball in my trunk. And so when I was backing out, I had heard like a little like bang in the back. It was like real weird. And I was like, oh, my basketball is just rolling around in my trunk. So kept it pushing. Everything was fine. Fast forward to about 30 minutes ago. We were leaving my high school basketball game, coming back from running all the errands she just told you. And <laughs> we're driving and all of a sudden like, we had talked about it earlier and she was like, oh, this tire is low. So when we were driving, literally about to pull in to this, to the complex area, we start hearing like a loud, like bang noise. Like it almost sounded like somebody I had kidnapped somebody and they were <laughs> banging on my trunk in the back trying to be let out <laughs> or somebody was playing around and they've been hiding in my trunk. That's not what happened. It, but that's literally what it sounded like. To describe the sound, it sounds like someone's banging on the back of the car just trying to be let out from the trunk or trying to be let in the car. And so that's what it sounded like. So the first thing in my mind, too, was like, oh, my God, I have a flat tire because my check tire light, like air pressure light has been on because of the weather fluctuations. So, like, mm -hmm. it got cold. And then it got hot and then it got cold and it got hot. So I think my tires had just been freaking out and going in and out with the air. The, the first thing that my mind went to, cause she just told me my tire was really low. It was like, I have a flat tire right now and I'm basically driving on the rim. That's what I'm thinking about. But then I'm like, we get out and like we're pulling in and it gets worse and worse. Like the person in the back is realizing <laughs> that they are about to make it to the house that they're about to be kidnapped that and so they're banging harder so the noise gets louder and louder and louder and it starts just like the closer we get to the house it just gets louder just bang 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 and i'm like what the heck 
And so we get out the car and all my tires are fine. Everything's fine. Like nothing visually is wrong. And so I'm on my knees. She's looking under my car. Like maybe it's this, maybe it's that. I don't know nothing about cars. So I'm, I'm making sure it wasn't the basketball rolling around in the bag. Like it was loud. Very scary. Cause I've never experienced car problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been knock, knock on wood. We've been very blessed in that area, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm like, dang, like, I'm like, you I, gotta take this in. <laughs> I'm like thinking about all these things I got to do this week. And then thinking about me having to drive to school next week. And I'm just starting to stress out. So I'm on my phone looking at where can I get this thing fixed at? But I'm like, I know like this car place, but it's like 20 minutes away, but it's too far. Like my car, I'd be nervous driving. So I called this place like five minutes away. Like he was very nice. So he was like, just bring it right now. So we just brought it in over there. They were super, super nice people. And when we were done, it was weird. He was like, okay, we're done. you're good. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I thought they were gonna drive it. Like, like tell us right then and there what was going on. And then he was like, but they're so busy. They were busy. That it was like, it was I, I made busy. sure to put in the plug that I have to leave. I'm leaving next week. Like, I gotta go back. They usually don't keep them that long. Typically, they don't, they don't, they're pretty good with whipping them out. Yeah, but they were really, really nice. And I so. was glad it's coming from the back and not the front where the yeah. engine is. It's definitely very apparent that it's coming from the back of my car. The muffler problem, exhaust. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know anything about cars, but all I know, it sounds like it's coming from the back. And I, I don't know. It was scary though and so we he was like yeah like just bring the car in blah, blah blah and so she drove behind me to make sure you know i wasn't i didn't end up on the side of the road um but it was really close it was only like five minutes away um but it's like the, the closer you got the, the louder did the noise get or did it subside and... when we were driving and we started like coasting a little bit the noise subsided and it went away but as soon as i started to slow down the person started banging again once I started like pulling into the place, it was really, really loud. They I was like, let me out. And I was like, this is so embarrassing because there's so many people outside and my car is just bang, bang, bang. And I was like, can you hear it from the outside? Like, could you hear it from the outside? Uh, when we started driving off to head to the car place, I could hear because I rolled my window down. Oh, you could hear it. Yes. But oh. then it then it disappeared. Yeah, because it, it went anymore. away a little bit. But I was like, I haven't done anything different. The only thing is like, I've been driving my car. I drove my car for a long time yesterday. Like I drove it for six hours, but when I'm at school, I'm the only one who drives because everybody acts like their car doesn't work. That's never well, mind. 2024 is a new year, new me. Yeah. So my car is going to sit in the parking lot at school and they can drive. Exactly. Cause my car, she's sick. <laughs> Say my car is sick, so I don't know who's driving. Not me. We're about to go to a wedding um, in like two weeks. Sorry, I can't do it. It's a two-hour, three-hour drive. Oh, they expecting you to drive? I know they are, cause they don't. None of them like to drive. None of them. They act like their their cars sit and collect dust in the parking lot, and I'm always the one having to go get gas. And, and they don't have the gas. No, anytime Where we need to go anywhere, nobody even brings their keys downstairs. Uh, I don't got mine either. Somebody go upstairs and get keys. Okay, 2024. Say, I'm not driving. Let them know I'm not driving 2024. And that's why I thought 2020. Who, who drives. So. And I, we started last year like that. Last year, I was like, we got to start switching off because I'm over this. I don't want to keep doing this. But still, everybody continues to bring their keys downstairs. One day it was raining. Nobody brought their keys. Oh, I didn't bring my keys either. We're walking in the rain. Hope you got a hood. We walked right in the rain. Didn't care because I'm not driving. But you still kept driving them. Sometimes I don't like to deal with them. I'm just ready to live on my own. I'm moving out. You ain't moving nowhere with them paying your tuition. No. My car's sick. She's at the hospital right now. Um, but I'm... She's not at that. She's at the clinic. <laughs> Well, the clinic needs to get her in and out for free. <laughs> I'm hoping that we get the call and he's like, you know, we just had to tighten up a little screw back there. You good to go. <laughs> Girl, okay. Pray for me.
<laughs> Anyways, so we'll get a call tomorrow and they'll let us know what the issue is. Hopefully it's something minor. <laughs> but like you said, at least it's in the back. <laughs> in the front. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a party in the back of my car. So <laughs> hopefully they get that. Well, that's how it goes, only in Basil's world.